Samsung and is back yet again for this third episode of Metal Madness. So, how is the show doing, you're asking yourself? <laughs> I'm going to tell you. We just got these numbers in from uh, uh, some company, like did analysis and uh, so on and so forth. And uh, as you see here, we started at lousy. And uh, now we're uh, peaking at decent here. So the show is doing great. In today's episode, I will not only speak to the master bass player from Halloween, Mr. Marcus Groskopf. I will also tell you who's going to win a fight between Glenn Tipton and Glenn Danzig. And I'm going to bring you the latest news from AFM. And we're going to watch some music video. I don't know what video. I don't care either. It's uh, I only get the paycheck, you know, so <laughs> I don't care. So, without further ado, I present to you the co-founder, the bass player, the songwriter of the legendary German metal band Halloween. He can play with a pick. He can play with his fingers. He can even slap the bass. I welcome... Mr. Marcus Groskopf! Hello! Oh, hello! Hi. Hello! It's Very nice to have you here. For the second time! <laughs> Come oh, on, you gotta mention this! No, oh, no, no, you can't mention that! <laughs> I'm a technical genius, I didn't fuck the first one up! <laughs> That's true, I forgot! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Awesome! Great to have you show on the show again! All right, all right. Again? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh. <laughs> Whatever. So, uh, Marcus, uh, I have some questions for you. Are you willing to answer them? I'm ready. I'm ready, yes. Great. Uh, were Gorgar ever up for discussion for the Pumpkins United tour? All right. Well, well what? What was were the question? Gorgar, the, the song from Walls of Jericho, you know. Uh -huh. I don't think so, but maybe as we do many more tours for the future, maybe it, we, we have some songs that we're going to play that we really, really didn't play in the last years that we really didn't play at all so far. Who knows, you know? Who knows? This is only this is only one tour we're doing, but there's more to come, hopefully, and there's a couple of songs we like to do for the future. Exactly. Tour. You're still young. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> That's why my back hurts so bad. <laughs> oh, that can, uh, that can be <laughs> uh, other stuff. It doesn't, aid. it doesn't mean you're old. It doesn't mean shit. No, exactly. <laughs> so, uh, was a tale that uh, wasn't right always meant to be a ballad style kind of song? Or was that something that uh, evolved in the rehearsals? That was that was planned as a ballad from the very beginning. I mean, how many? But there's a different story about a different song that that was actually supposed to be a ballad, and then became like like a wild uh, heavy metal speed song. That was how many tears. Oh yeah, I know that. I know that. And, the, and there's even a version from Wyke's very very old, very early school band existing somewhere around the globe and or in his living room somewhere on some cassette tape yeah. <laughs> if people can remember what that is but this was actually this song was actually meant to be a real ballad but then somebody came up and was just like doing the riff for it uh, we speeded it up and then it became very very popular as a speed song you know yeah yeah very, very popular. One of my favorite songs, actually. <laughs> so, uh, even a Swedish fool like me uh, hear that your your song, uh, You Run With A Pack, should have been uh, maybe song four or five on the Bubbles album. Why why didn't you hear that? Oh, uh, wasn't it? Was it like this? I don't know, Run With A Pack? It's it's a B-side, isn't it? Yeah, it's a B-side. On some of those uh, single versions or bonus tracks, what do I know? I, I can't remember, really. Oh, you can't. It's a great <laughs> song. You have to listen as, to it. As I'm a young man, it was like too too long ago to remember. Okay. <laughs> so you are old. The song, but I, I, as, as far as I know, it was meant to be a B-side from some single something. I can't really remember. Okay. 
I think it would have been uh, for the first single you should have uh, released from Bubbles because it's a great uh, song, uh, great song. Uh, we do this later. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. It's later. We're gonna remix it. I'm gonna remix it. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, just just pumping up the bass, and then it's my remix. <laughs> and it's fine. <laughs> so, All right. thank you very much, Marcus, and uh, I hope I don't screw this up again. No, it's all right. Did you get your technical shit together this time? I um, think I, I, on I, I haven't touched anything this time. I just pressed record. Yeah, but you didn't touch something last time. <laughs> I, I, I didn't think I did, but I didn't breathe now either. So. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, have a good one. Thank you very right. much. Thank you. Bye. 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 On to the news here. I got some news from the bosses. So uh, I'll tell you the news and you will listen carefully. Uh, LA based uh, alternative hard rock band Motive Black assigned with AFM. Who are they? Are they good? I don't know. Comment below, please. Uh, and uh, it's releasing a music video for their debut single, Broken. For this Broken, the the corn, corn Guys is uh, participating. The Corn is back. The c Children of the Corn. Ooh, horror, horror. Don't see Children of the Corn. Uh, let's uh, let's just uh, have a look at that video they're releasing. Bam! I'm back! And so is Udo. The rumors are true. Uh, October 22nd, he will release a new album called Game Over. Whose game is over? Is his game over? I don't think so. The album will contain tracks titled Metal Never Dies, Marching Tank, Metal Damnation, who is this guy? Is he some kind of a badass? Yes, he is. He's Udo. Uh, this will be a hot contender for most metal album of the year, I think. What do you think? Please comment below. Hello, Dave. You old fart. You need a bass player? Really? Yeah, I just spoke with a bass player. Marcus Grosskopf. From, uh, yeah, you know him. Yeah, pretty good. He can slap, he can finger. He can uh, do it with a pick. Really? Oh my god! We have some sensational news here. I was just lying to you. <laughs> he didn't call me, it was my granny. Grandmother. She was uh, inviting me over for some uh, serious cleaning of her body. <laughs> very popular to uh, like take one celebrity and fight against another celebrity so I have uh, chosen three fights uh, you can comment below who, who you think would have won these fights and I'll tell you who the real winner is fight number one is between Glenn Danzig and Glenn Tipton Surely you think uh, Glenn Danzig would uh, like pound the old uh, guy Glenn Tipton to the ground. But what you don't know is uh, Glenn Tipton is uh, pretty quick in his fingers. So I think he will poke uh, Glenn Danzig's eyes out before uh, he can even flex his uh, arms. One nil to Glenn Tipton. Oh. Yes. Fight number two will be between Slayer's Tom Mariah and Sodom's Tom Angel Ripper. Hmm, 
Hmm, who will win that, you might wonder? USA versus Germany. I'll tell you who's going to win. USA. I'm sorry, Germany, but uh, USA is going to win because of the beard. You know, uh, Tom Angel Rip is pretty fast, pretty fast guy, you know? He's like, oh, come on, come on. And uh, Tom just standing there. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah. And uh, when, uh, as soon as Tom uh, Angel Ripper is trying to uh, hit the Raya in the mouth, he will get stuck in his old gray beard. Because, I don't know, it's like 30 years of beer and c cigarettes and slime and shit in that beard. So he's stuck there. And that's an easy match from there on for uh, for uh, Tom Araya. <laughs> USA one, Germany zero. Sorry. Match number three is between Paul Stanley of Kiss and Paula Abdul of Paula Abdul. So who is going to win that? USA versus USA, or is Paula Abdul American? I don't know. Yeah. I think so. So uh, I'll tell you who's going to win that one. That is a tie. It's a tie. You know, they'll try to go as high in range as possible. You know, Paul is like, uh, God of Thunder. No, that's Gene. Sorry. He'll go like, God of Thunder. No, that's still Gene. My God. What is Paul saying? Still loving you. No, that's <laughs> oh, they also have a still loving you song. So uh, it's going to be a tie because they try to break each other's. Uh, I don't know what it's called the ones you hear with, not the ears, the one inside the ears. You know, the the, the drum hints. It's called drum hints. Yeah, they're going to crack each other's hearing with all the high pitch voice, so they can't hear the bell. So they will just dance around each other for eternity because it's just that kind of fight. <clears throat> what? Every other week instead of every week? Why? We need to make the arrow go more up uh, to be a good show and not an average show. Okay. Bye. Darn. Okay. From now on, the show will be like every other week instead of every week. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's not my fault. It's the damn record company. Okay, see you in two weeks. Bye. Whew! The show was hot today. I think we'll end it with a bang. This is Kryptos, who is releasing a new uh, album in, uh, let's see here, uh, October 1st. And this is the title track from the new album, Force of Danger.
I'm coming for you.